We're just sitting just like this, you Welcome back to Mammoth Bouquet. Uh, it is Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas for everybody tomorrow. Or whenever this comes out. Probably be tomorrow. Anyway, it's, uh, I got an early Christmas present from Woodland Mills. Um, some of those of you may be following me on Instagram and Facebook. And I posted a picture that showed my tension handle and a bunch of washers laying in the snow over here. Anyways, uh, that was on Sunday. And I e emailed Woodland Mills and said, hey, I'm broke. Um, you know, I need to order some parts. Anyways, Monday afternoon, I think it was. Uh, we had response from the folks there, customer service. And uh, yeah, no, we're gonna send you parts and it's actually an upgrade so we're going to go through the upgrade process to <laughs> yeah a little hard to tension the, the blade here right now so anyway we'll uh we'll get at her thanks for coming by um yeah let's get at it so what happened was uh dad and i actually had uh some nice maple soft maple pieces that we cut they were all oh, four and a half feet long and better part of 20 inches in diameter anyways we uh cut them all up to charcuterie board size and uh i was about to continue on making beams and stuff for the barn and reset things put a new blade on tensioned it up hit the throttle and pow and i'll include a picture of the uh what happened in the up here in the corner and you can see it Oh, snowplow going by. Thanks, boys. Keep us safe. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to go through replacing the T-handle. Now, if you look in there, let's see it. You can see that the, uh, the shaft that takes a tension sheared and you can see it looks like there's actually two grades of or two ages of break there the stuff on the bottom right hand side looks like old crack and then the stuff in the top left 
uh, happened on Sunday. Anyway, so we got a whole new kit and we're going through the process of putting it together. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is that this stuff's gonna come apart. I gotta take this bolt out of here, and this piece comes out, and then I'm gonna open up. So now as we're looking here, we can see um, this bolt's gotta come off. We gotta pull this wheel, gotta pull the blade off, obviously. Okay, so what I was saying is we could undo this bolt here. That pulley comes off. There's a series of two sets of four bolts that come off and then the whole assembly comes out and then we replace the rod and start to put things back together. So uh, quit talking, let's get at her I guess. Sixteen mil, boys and girls. Now they say I might need a four, four. Uh, take that off. I'm hoping not. I pull it in my toolbox, and it's not here. Okay. Well, see, I've already screwed up. Did the wrong thing first. Anyway, uh, T handle, it removed itself. So we got to take off the, what do they call this? Uh, flat washer spring, uh, spring washer holder. Okay, so that's that assembly there. So I'll pull that off here now. number 13 there it is now I'm kind of anticipating a little bit of problems in that it's you know minus five degrees Celsius here right now just a little tip here I hope you can see me all right took this piece out this is the the uh, spring tension holder thing you do eat um, the bolt that came out of it, put it back where it came from. And you're not looking for it later on. Gonna be moving you around lots here, folks. Okay, those look like 16 mm -hmm. First, got to do. Ooh, dirty trick. Okay, those are round keys. All right, so Oop, too close. All right, so these four first, and then these guys. Sorry, one, two, three, four, and then that assembly comes up. Now I get some tools. Okay, so. This is a six mil Allen key. Kind of a little tight. If you got a socket, it's probably a little bit light on your fingers. Anyways, you can watch your fingers on these bolts because they'll bite. Funny. Owie.
Instructions say to take that right out. Don't see any washers under there. It looks like there's maybe a little bit of blue thread locker on there. If you do this whole video without dumping this toolbox, I'll be surprised. Two inches long. And again, you get a washer and then a lock washer underneath them. Uh, once you're done, the four internal wrenching bolts there. This guy comes out. And they say, make sure that you know which way is up because up is important for your alignment. So we're going to look at this, okay? Dirty on the top, not so dirty on the bottom. That's how we're gonna do this. Properly, I guess we should mark with a marker or something like that. I think we should be okay. If I screw it up, you can blame me later. Okay, now that we've got all those big bolts, I turned you upside down here, sorry. Um, then we're gonna pull this guy out. Now, this is supposed to have threads on it. It does not because it broke. I dare say that's why there's the upgrade kit. Now, there's three pieces here. There's the center section. I've got the back plate and the front piece. I don't know what they call it properly. I'll tell you in a second. Anyways, they all come out together. Ta-da! Okay, you don't need to look at my goofy face. Anyways, so this came out of the mill like this. So, back plate. I guess this is the rapid change PC. And here's the piece that we're gonna take out. All right, so again, another Allen key, and that comes off. And then we start putting new pieces on. I'll let you play here. I was gonna pause you, but might as well let you play. All right. I brought gloves so I didn't get my hands dirty. Now I'll get the inside of my gloves dirty, so I don't mind to put my gloves on next time, my hands will be dirty. Yeah, good idea. My name is Mark. Now, I'm not so smart sometimes, but anyway, that's okay. Okay, well, yeah, that's a number six again. I kind of figured it would be. I'm glad it is because I don't have anything bigger. That's actually not on there that tight. Ta. There we go. Okay, you go up there with the other bulking parts. Cool. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Next page. Okay, we took that piece off. New pieces. Okay, so. Nicely machined piece of still square cut threads, so I'm not sure. Maybe just a stronger material or something. <laughs> 
Anyway, that's there. So that was there. Ha ha. Okay, so it's mark proof. It used to say Murphy, now it's Mark. Okay, so the block, this chamfer only goes one way. And the side with the uh, countersunk side goes with the long side. I'm doing this all live, folks. I haven't even trusted this before. So if we get through this whole video and I don't want to back up, yeah, it's probably my Christmas present for the year. It doesn't say anything about any thread locker or anything like that. It's not blue face torque, but it's it's on. So anyway, so the side with the chamfered nut or chamfered bolt, it's not a nut, um, faces the front. So you get the front. You got the mounting plate, and that's what I'm reading right out of the book here. And then the back plate. Blink. See saw. Just like that. Okay, so like I was saying, get my instructions all dirty here. Um Okay. So that whole carrier assembly as they call it, rapid change module, excuse me. Um you can see here, nice and pretty. Back plate. So they're saying make sure that the back plate is positioned to the back of the mill so the back of the mill is the engine side not the blade side okay so we're going to slide that in and then we're going to put those great big long hex bolts the long ones about two inches long and put them in snugly it says don't over tighten them so we'll get to her all righty okay i'm getting pretty fancy here folks i've even got lighting out here today it's not very bright so i figured i better help it out anyways so I'm going to slide that piece into here. It slides into place. And there's the four bolts of bolt in from the front to the back. And again, we're not going to put it in too tightly. And goes in. So a separate piece here, the, just a plate, goes in at the back. And once it's in place, then we can tighten things up. Okay, see that too late? Oh, stop singing, sorry. I hear circus music. Do, 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 do. Okay, remember we told you which side we were going to put that up? All right, dirty side's going up. So it's coming in from the back. This slides in that assembly, so that's where the tension comes. It pulls the whole pulley this way, creating a tension on the, on the blade. So if you do this, you turn it wrong, well, depending on how it's set up. But if, if you put it in upside down, this alignment, which you adjust with these two bolts here, it's all out of wonky. Wonky's bad because then you're going to have blades popping and stuff like that so especially if your blades are tracking beautiful you don't really want to mess that up anyway let's get it in get them all started and then torque them down after that okay it makes your life a lot easier because if they're a little bit off wonky or off center whatever you want to call it wonky donkey crazy not sitting right just tighten down one, they're not going to line up at all. Once they're in place, then you can get things to where they need to be. Now there is a torque spec on that. And we want it torqued to 30 foot-pounds. Holy smokes, 30 foot-pounds. Yeah, the inside ones are 30 foot-pounds, the outside ones are 37. So I'm going to have to go get my sockets. I don't think blue face torque is going to do it this time. Okay, 
snug. Click, click, right? Yeah, click, 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 Now, this piece should be able to move freely in here. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong. Next page. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, so now we're going to put the spring washer holder and washer assembly in place. That's on the back side. So we're going to move you again. And then once we do that, then we can put the uh, the band wheel back on. We'll probably do that now, but we'll do things in order. The spring washer holder and washer assembly secured to the back beam with the hex bolt, the black washer. So there's a piece. It's raining. It's December 24th and it's raining gonna mess up my hair. Worked all day and get my hair all pretty like this. So this bolt just basically holds that piece in there. It doesn't do anything other than that. And it was a 13 mil. Ta-da! Okay, out of the flywheel. Okay, now that we got the bearing holder thingy to in place, this guy goes on. That should go on nice and pretty. What's wrong with those bearings? And the torque of this guy in the center. Oh, you foot crap. Uh, <laughs> We're cutting this guy in the middle is again it's a it's number 16 or a 16 mil is uh 37 foot pounds okay well here's my soaking wet piece of paper you can see the shine in the, the shiny paper but it's not that shiny um anyway you see that drawing pretty wild so that's a specific stack up for the cup washers and then there's three different types of torque patterns or torque methods that you can use um, on the other paper to torque up the blades and this all comes with the uh, the upgrade kit so you can either use a traditional torque wrench um, or you can count the turns or the flush bearing which i had before and it's just a case of stacking up the shim washers accordingly to uh, have the proper torque anyways we're going to put things together uh, for the torque wrench method currently and we may change that up after just so we can get up and running okay here we go need to give a little shout out to uh, sandy at sawing with sandy he's normally the guy doing all these fancy um, instructional videos. He's really good at it, so I'm doing my best to see if I can do it. Do him justice here. So, two shim washers, and that's adjusted possibly later. First two cup washers kind of point out. So, if you look at them, it's a little closer here. So, you can see the washer's got a bit of a concave, convex shape to it, and when you set it up so the first ones if you will we'll say that they point in point out so first ones are pointing out and they're all in sets of two next ones are pointing in next ones are pointing out so you got a, a section that kind of has a cavity in the middle next ones are pointing in 
Lots of fun. Isn't it? In, out, in, out, in, out. Um, okay, pointing in. And there's 24 of these guys. Out. In. See, I'm getting wet. It's like raining, raining. It's not nice here at all. Hope Santa can get here tonight. In. Out. Last two. Point in. And then on top of that goes your bearing. Now, it actually doesn't show the bearing on the install that way, but or on the install instructions, but if you look at the tensioning guide, which is now switching that as well, uh, it shows it here. So, and it goes on the end of everything. Like that. And then we find a new handle. Okay, so old handle. You recognize that? Used to hang my hair. Air muffs off that. New handle. Big difference in size. So I think what was happening, and I don't know this for sure, maybe I might I did leave an email with uh, product support at Woodland Mills to see if they could give me a couple little hints. But anyways, my guess is that people were over torquing it and create an issue that I had. So this guy is on there. Cool. Time to put a blade on. Well, goes over my big boots, another six inches or so. I managed to find myself a new snowblower that we'll have to play with here shortly. But let's get this finished up first. Stay. Thank you. Now, you should wear your gloves putting the blades on. Blades on. Um, I know we've all done it and put them on without having gloves on, but... I just say put them on with yeah. yeah should have gloves on when you put your blades on I'm a little tired folks I went and got my son last night we got home at three o'clock in the morning so anyway let me turn it off there we go. come on Yeah, you're not going to want to torque it with that short handle, that's for sure. Okay. Oop, I guess I'm gonna take that up. Okay, I'll quit messing with that. Um anyways folks, that's how that goes. Um you know, total time. I don't think I've been out here for an hour, including messing around with the camera, so I need to do this. Here it is. Oh, well, now it's not raining. At least it's hail. Good. Anyways, folks. Thanks for coming by. I didn't think I was going to get another video in before Christmas or at Christmas, but yeah, why not? <laughs> I got an early Christmas present and the pieces to fix my mill. That's a good thing. Um, we've got a little bit of wood to cut. So we're uh, going to call it for the, for the day. I could learn to speak, I'd be in good shape. All right, we're going to call it a day. Thanks for coming by. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hope everybody's good. Merry Christmas. All the best from Manistokee. 
Mark, Mari, Kira, and Ben. Cheers for now.